Hi everyone, I'm Sang Kim. In this video, I would like to share how to do multi-dimensional scaling analysis for metric type data, which is known as MDS analysis. According to Wikipedia, MDS is a way of visualizing the level of similarity of individual observations. The input information is dissimilarities between observations. Typically, we use Euclidean distance as a dissimilarity measurement. We also consider dimension reduction to visualize the output into 2D space. When we have dimension reduction, there is information loss. We call it as a stress or strain. This is uh, Togerson's algorithm to calculate coordinates from configuration space. Typically, we take k as 2. I have prepared simple data. There are 25 observations and 9 variables related to European countries. Let's do MDS analysis in R by CMD scale, function, and manual computation. Let's first remove all the objects from the uh, space. So, RM, list, equals LS. Okay. Uh, let's read protein data into R. specify the path protein dot csv Enter equals true all right and let's see how it looks like okay. uh, the first column uh, is country's name and there are six uh, nine uh, numerical variables so uh, let's change a uh, row name as country name and drop first column. So row dot name protein data okay uh, let's draw first column so protein data one right let's see again how it looks like right as you can see uh, row name has been changed as country name and there is no country variable it was dropped and there are only nine uh, numerical variables right then let's calculate distance metrics obtain data uh, methods as Euclidean Okay, and then uh, the dot fits from CMD scale. This is from a uh, base library. D I N equals two. Okay, and K equals two. So this K means uh, this one. Okay. Right, so let's see how what kind of information it has. Right, as you can see, dollar points has configuration points for uh, each country and eigenvalue and goodness of it. Right, so let's uh, draw a plot uh, to see how each country is located. Plot. Uh, the dot fit point okay. yeah as you can see there are 25 points here but we don't know where uh, where each country is located so it means that we need to add text fit. Let's give the label uh, row dot names contain data. Okay, and 
position for text let's give three three is four two uh four uh so text will be located on top of the circle so three s e e x equals 0.7 Right. So as you can see, uh, texts are located on top of each circle, uh, but some texts are uh, overlapped, so, so it's hard to read. So in this case, uh, we can use ggplot. Let me show you how to do that. Let's activate library ggrepel. Uh, All right. Then uh, let's uh, generate .fit2. Uh, we need to make a data frame uh, d dot fits and points okay then let's draw ggplot and yes x1 x2 label equals row dot names from d dot fit2 plus geometric curve point and let's keep a curve up red I like red and plus geometric curve text R E P E L okay so okay Right, so uh, red points and the text country's name is readable. So Norway, Denmark, Netherlands, uh, Switzerland are all together, and Hungary, Romania, Bulgaria are all together. So based on uh, nine variables, we were able to do uh, group uh, European countries uh, by MDS uh, methodology. Right. Right, so if you use uh, CMD scale function, so uh, uh, and with distance metrics, you are able to do uh, multi-dimensional uh, scaling analysis for metric type data. So uh, let's move on. How we can do uh, MDS analysis uh, manually? So let me show you how we can calculate manual. Uh, how we can get we can do it manual, uh, manual computation. So let's uh, see. Uh, this is uh, Torgerson's algorithm. So a matrix can be generated uh, by as the matrix minus d times d over two. So it's not matrix computation. So it's um, element squared. So right. So d times d over two and to generate h matrix so let's uh, calculate number of row from a matrix okay and then h matrix uh, diagonal n minus we can think of to generate j matrix uh, we can uh, use array mm, one fill with one for n by n over n. Okay. Okay. Then uh, B matrix uh, can be generated from this matrix computation so B H matrix computation and A 
and H. Okay. Right. Then let's calculate eigenvalue uh, from B. We can use eigen function. Right. So uh, we were able to uh, calculate get uh, eigenvalue from B uh, matrix. Okay. Then in order to get uh, coordinates for uh, x, so v times d lambda squared. Okay. So I b dollar vectors. root let's make it as diagonal matrix okay. values okay so let's see we have this one so again, we uh, set k as 2. So we don't need to see all 20 by, uh, 25 by 25 uh, metrics. So let's take um, one and two column. Okay. This one. Let's only see for six. So let's compare uh, this uh, configuration uh, from manual computation, uh, and then let's see uh, the dot fit points. Okay. So this one is from uh, CMD scale function, and this is uh, from manual computation. So as you can see, we were able to get same results. Right. And then um, let's calculate goodness of fit. I actually made a program here. So goodness of fit is from uh, eigenvalue, sum of uh, eigenvalue. And the second uh, value is from uh, all positive values, right? So let's run this sentence. And the first one, this one, uh, good news fit of first element and second element. And this one, uh, good news fit to this one, okay. So again, let's, uh, the, uh, get the dot fit dollar and gof okay so as you can see this is from cmd scale function and this is from manual computation so we were able to uh, calculate goodness of fit so as you know uh, it's very close to one so it means that um, uh, 2D space is good uh, enough to uh, show all, uh, I mean, 85% information into 2D graph. So, uh, as you know, uh, this is 2D uh, configuration, I mean, uh, uh, graph. So, uh, we can say that uh, it close distance has uh, similar uh, characteristics about uh, nine variables. So uh, I hope it was useful for you to understand how we can do uh, classical multidimensional scaling, which is uh, metric type data MDS analysis. Please click like and subscribe uh, if it was useful for you to understand MDS analysis. Thank you.